when this is your idea of a pajama party. <laughs> oh, we're recording. Hello, hello. Hi there. Hello, YouTube. Magic community on YouTube. Legacy community on YouTube. Whatever. I'm Turn One Glistener Elf. This is the missus. Hi. The lovely shall not be named. Yeah, shall Aww. not be named. I haven't come up with a screen name, sorry. Well, I'm already Jay Stevens, so I got that much. <laughs> now they figured <laughs> it out, maybe. If you want to Facebook stalk me, maybe you can figure it out. Alright, um, we already had our drunk magic. Our yeah. drunk version of this very matchup. Uh, Bug Infect versus Rakdos Zombardment. And now it's time for a rematch! Yeah, maybe now that I can think, I might actually stand a chance. Fourteen. Yeah. Beat that. I take your challenge and three. I lose. <laughs> nat three. At All least right. it's not a nat one. I would like to go first. Okay. One strand of hair is going to get onto my last one. Shall I cut? Seems good. Her giant Rakdos dye and her giant Rakdos pajamas. I'm kind of a Rakdos fan, guys. Deaths by the Conclave! Which is kind of funny because he is not a Rakdos at all. Conclave victory! <laughs> Alright. Make sure that's right. Yep, okay. Making sure. I'll go up while you're doing your thing. Okay. Flip the lens around so you can't cheat. Flippity flip. Hey, that goes both ways. Hey. Yeah. What's good? What's yeah. sauce uh -huh. for the goose is sauce for the game? That's so old. No one says that. Okay. Um, I guess I want to count you as a creature. Let me just give away everything that's in my hand. Yep. Eat moth. Yep. <laughs> That's it's a, a little light, but this makes it a little bit palatable. Okay, yeah, we've played each other so much. <laughs> By all means, go for it. Sad, and that's the de de one of the decks I learned magic on. So when we went, to, I'll let you do your explanation of your hand first. Okay, doke. So it's not a god hand, but it's not bad at all. There are a couple of options I have. Um. Most of the time, if I go first, I'm probably going to start with that. It depends on who I'm going up against and whether I've played them and know their strategy. Against him, I find that that is a pretty good combo there. And my deck is not generally too heavy on combos. So we'll let you see how this one goes down. I believe that in her deck, it's referred to as Synergy. Oh, by the way, speaking of Conclave. Heck yeah, Conclave. Okay. No, okay, Duke. And this is your life die, seeing as I won't need one. Yep. <laughs> and in fact, there is no reason to have a life die since you're like starting at life 10. Countdown. Alright, yeah. count up in my head. Ready? Yes. Because <gasps> I haven't actually decided which of these I want to use yet. Uh, let's get some deck thinning out of the way. Roll me down to 19. Which helps me... Ever so slightly. Hey, a point is a point is a point. <laughs> you are okay with this? Yep. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. A horse is a horse, of course. Foil! So, I went to when I went to GPDC, there was this one guy that got so annoyed by the fact that I had a structure deck, <laughs> Forest. Which I kind of admit, I was being a troll. I put one in just to make people go, Really? Oh, you put... You put, your deck has three colors in Legacy, so of course you got the duels for it. Eight fetch lands, Judge Promo Noble Hierarchs, <laughs> Promo Glistener Elves, Promo Plague Stinger, and you're going to use a Structure Deck Forest. <laughs> and so. he hates when I cut like this. It just takes a while. It, it does. seems excessive. But when you get on a roll and you're doing that, it's kind of hard not to. Dang it. Glissy. Hi, Glissener. Pastor. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. Um, since I'm not worried about life total, 
I'm going to go ahead and put down Bloodstained Mire. I know that's not the card I showed you, any of the cards I showed you earlier, but... Oh, that was your draw? No. I mean, cards that I actually care about. <laughs> I will... It's a little bit on screen, I think. Or am I blind? No. Oh, yeah, it's on screen. It's just the light. Oh, yeah, that's that's really weird. I'm fetching for a Badlands one of my Christmas presents, you guys. One of my Christmas presents. Um, it is a Rakdos dual land. Um, yeah. And it's not a shock land. Which if they're is... watching it, I hope they know that. It, oh. what, th well, it's Badlands. It's the one that like no one ever plays outside of, what, Jund and Sam Black Zombies? Sam Black Zombies. Your Sandblood Zombies minus the white. What? For like, Wear and Tear, Disenchant, Mainboard, Lingering Souls. And just because I can, I'm going to tap for black. Thoughtseize! Yep, that's a thing. Well, you have one legal target, Vines of Vastwood. Dang it! Lands all around, so I'm just going to... Yeah, just blow that up for me. You can't pump it next turn. Need to write anything down? Oh, uh, yes, but I have no pen and no paper. Um, the only thing we didn't think of. <laughs> I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully it won't take very long while I've got a pen and um, a pencil. So, how was your weekend or whenever you're watching this? Time. How was your insert time period before you started watching this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Just... No, Larry. I Larry? Why, why are you watching this? I didn't know you played Magic. Larry the Cable Guy. Not that Larry. That would be even Different more surprising, Larry. though. Okay, Doug, which cards do you have? I know you have Ink Moth in there. Ink Moth, Pendlehaven, Haven, Pendle, yeah. whatever. Uh, tropical Island Bayou. Way down on the bayou. Alright, here we go. Way down on the bayou. Dang it, now you got that song stuck in my head. Well... Pendlehaven! Pump. Swing two. I kind of have to take it. Where are the poison counters? Well, this time... Yeah, let's start with the rake. No, let's start with these, just in case I don't get a chance. I'm going to use Rubber Ninja Stars. <laughs> ha. Because why not? And... Pass turn. Okay, good. So... This time, this is not exactly what I would use this on, but um, seeing as he can pump that automatically, I'm going to tap the Sack Wasteland to Sack Pendlehaven. Pendlehaven? Pendlehaven? Destroy, anyway, to destroy it. <laughs> um, Something else. Seeing as that now I know what he has, and he has a card in his hand that he drew this turn, Thoughtseize! Number two. It was a windswept heath. Dang it. No targets. No targets. Not yet. Unfortunately. We're not even going to bother writing her damage down. There's, there's no, no point. No, there's no point. Pass. Should I go ahead and take one damage unless you get a dang pump spell? It's coming somewhere in there. Get taxi and probe. And now he gets to write down what I have in my hand. If he wants to. Where is it? Seventeen. He's oh, doing hi, that. Bob. Bloodgast, Faithless Gravecrawler. So obviously, Bloodgast and Gravecrawler are your uh, Faithless Looting targets, unless you get something super awesome off of that draw. And then the Swamp into uh, Dark Confidant, unless she wants to go through Faithless Looting next. I, if you don't need to play Dark Confidant next turn, granted life is kind of irrelevant here, Red, Faithless Looting, drop these two, Swamp to get Bloodgast back. There you go. That's probably the line of play you want to take. It'll depend on my draw, though. Whew. What? Nothing. Hmm. Which to play? Sorry! I turned my head! I believe you. Next time, warn me. Ink Moth? Yay! Hi, Ink Moth. Main phase might have a little Mm-hmm. 
Swing five. Take it. Four, five. And now I have to actually use counters. Only so many rubber shuriken to go around. All right, and pass. Hmm. Well, dang it. Now I know there's no target for anything in my hand. Um. That you do. That's death right there unless I get a blockable down, so... Dark Confidant. Okay. Makes sense here. Yep. Then I'm going pass. I'm going pass. Going pass. I'm a little southern girl. You would never guess it by looking at me. Or generally talking to me, but I am a southern girl. Windswept? Dead. Animate? Yep. I Swing can two? block one. Okay. Listener. Fetch? Okay. I take one infect damage. I'm not even going to bother shuffling. Groundswell? Okay. Swing five. Let's go to game two! Okay. He outpaced me. Yeah, that's that's game one for you. Yeah, but see, I get to start off yep. this game. That's the biggest thing with my deck, is that I really need to start off first. It's a little slow, I'll admit. So what am I going to side in for this matchup? Well, so far I'm only seeing a few things that really jump out at me. Uh, here we are. So, I didn't see any of you. I didn't see any of you at all. I'm not sure that there are any main board. Uh, she's on the play, so this is a little less awesome. Uh, and I know the theme of the deck. I know how it tries to lock you. So, that word right there may become relevant. Uh, question for me is, do I really need to sacrifice? Now, you two are going to be amazing, hopefully. Assuming you do your job, you're going to be amazing. And this will play the role of you uh, while also being able to hit creatures. Um, and I think that should be basically everything in her deck. So, probably going to be you three, and an indeterminate number of you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through and look and see. I'm, Noble Hierarch may not be the most important thing for me in this matchup. Uh, it's great to have a one drop, but it's better to go after her, uh, her field. Keep her from getting me a, getting a lock on me, because if that uh, Goblin Bombardment sticks, it's basically game for me. She's just going to keep lobbing creatures at mine, which I'll have one toughness. And it's essentially Umazawa's Gta against me. But better, because it's going to go off that turn. Alright, you're working? Yeah, I'm Alright, well take your time. And the reason I'm not citing you guys in uh, is because Bombardment's going to be repeatable anyway. Rather than giving myself protection from one shot and then you just hit me again uh, on the stack, uh, I think it's better to tr try to use these as combo pieces to go off. Because uh, if it, I'm going to have to beat her clock. She's going to put a clock on me of, what, like no more than five turns. And if I don't make that, then it doesn't matter anyway. Plus three of my creatures have evasion. Her creatures have anti-evasion. Yeah, the only problem with the care, uh, with the uh, creatures that I have is three of the creatures that I have in here don't block. Three of them. Grave crawler, carrion feeder, and blood, blood gas. Yeah, it is three. You're right. And then the ones that do block are 
Young Pyromancer, its tokens, and Dark Confidant. Might want to get some more blockers in here. Maybe, baby. Actually, on second thought, um, this will help me play around Wasteland. So I may want to keep this in, <laughs> in which case you'd be cut. Perhaps some combination of the two. Um, she's in colors for Lightning Bolt and Tragic Slip. Tragic Slip I know gets played in deck le decks like these. So, let's see. She's laughing evilly. Wait, did I already pass one? Maybe not. This, that's why I'm not sure I want to take one of you out. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to hang on to you. Watch my deck thinning be what take, makes the cut. So I've been getting rather unlucky, it seems, with Gitaxian Probe into Gitaxian Probe into Gitaxian Probe. We didn't see that innocent blood there. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. The Gitaxian Probe really hasn't been helping him out. Generally it does because it allows him to draw cards, but it did not help you last turn, last game. I know what you mean. Thank you. Can you please maybe get those infect counters off the board? <laughs> but they're taunting you. I know they're, they're taunting, taunting me. That's the you reason that why I want them off the board. All right, all right. Thank you. Infect is a very difficult deck to win against if you're not a quick deck. Like mine is not a, a quick, quick deck. deck or with a fair bit of disruption. My death and tax death and taxes matchup often ends up being. Uh, if they have swords to paw shares in hand, they win. Yeah. If not, I win. Often that's how it turns out, um, especially if I'm on the play. If I can get out before Thalia... Mm. 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 Even with hand disruption, as you saw last game, if hand disruption does not have a target, kind of sucks to be oh, hand destruction. <laughs> Reasons to not play that extra land you just got. Make them think there's a Thoughtseize target in there. Juicy, juicy Thoughtseize target. Especially in a deck like mine that doesn't usually, or doesn't have to unload them all every turn. Especially with something like Berserk. You don't use Berserk by itself. Yeah. Until the very, very end. So I put it on your side, but you leave it on yours. It's hard to reach over to yours. Aww. So are you going to show them, or... Well, you didn't... Did I didn't you show, show them? them why I cited it? Okay, there we go. I figured if it comes up, it comes up, and then we'll be explained. And we're back. And I will be going first this time. Oh yes. Most definitely. Oh no, my grumpy kitty's coming apart. Uh oh. Three, four, five, Flipping six, around. Seven. So I'm a little bit concerned that. This is a thing. I'm mulliganing. Okay. I'll show them what I'm... What That's I'm fine. Doing. We'll just do a little jump cut or something. Or fade in. Okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> it's gracious. You can stand up. I'm having problems with my feet. I married an old woman, is what she's saying. I'm having problems with my foot. We think it's a bit of gout. Gout. She thinks it's gout. My mama thinks it's gout. I've got these, which they're all great cards. But if you don't have any land to play great cards, even in a deck where like this you can play one land hands, it's very difficult. Do I want to cut? Do I ever? There you are. Yeah! Grrrr! <laughs> Celestia's One, two, picking three, on me! Four, five, six. Mother Russia is picking on me! Celestia is not Mother Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Heck no. Okay, so I went down to six. Dang it! 
<laughs> the community of nature. Okay, I'm just gonna do this because I'm in a bit of pain. So, yeah, I am gonna go ahead and play. Um, it's definitely not a good hand, but I'm hoping for really good draws and that he doesn't have any. <laughs> Alright, you're on the play, so. I'm not sure if you're centered. Let's see if you're centered. I'm pretty sure you're not. I'm going to put my cards She's close enough. Here. She's close enough. Yes. Okay, dude. Yep. I laid an undiscovered paradise, which can tap for any color. Um, During your untap step, it comes back to hand if you did. Yeah. And I'm going to tap it, unfortunately. Ah. Um, and play Faith of Saluting. Yep. See what you get. So draw two cards. Would you like to look away? You can fl yeah, flash it to him. Okay. So... I'm going to put into my graveyard two blood ghast. Yep, seems good here. Which are perfect because as soon as I get another landfall, which will be next turn, I get to bring my blood gas from my graveyard to my uh... undiscovered paradise equals blood gas every turn. Yep. Just wait till she gets to throw them at my face. That's turn. Yep. That'll be in two turns, assuming he doesn't kill me Aha. by then. Aha. Sorry. Aha. I didn't actually see it, but. Forest. Okay. Play around that wasteland, Glistener Elf. Pass turn. Yuck. I don't like Glissy. And upkeep, it comes back to my hand. Untap, but close enough. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, do it. So I'm going to play a land, which means I get to fetch both of these guys. Uh, you get to do what, both of those guys? It's not fetch. Sorry. You get to... Return both of those guys from my graveyard to my battlefield. Yeah, just reanimate. Yes, thank you. Um, she plays a graveyard deck, and she doesn't know these things! I was at work for a good while today. My brain's kind of gone. Oh, so, but I'm fine, but now I have a handicap! <laughs> I was saying I had a handicap all along. Not that. <laughs> I meant handicap as in not drunk. Alright, what's going down? I'm going to tap my swamp for the card that I just played. Which, or just, uh, drew. just drew. Dotsies! Dotsies! Tragic slip. slip! Um, in response, no creature has died, so it's minus one, minus one. I'll invigorate to give him plus four, plus four, so he doesn't die this turn. Okay. That's unfortunate. That's what that she needs to do, though. That is very unfortunate. No, unfortunate for me. You, now, nah, just kidding. All right, that's that's your turn. Okay then. Death glare. Death glare. And what's even worse is even though I have two blood gas on the field, they're not blockers. Fetch. They cannot block. Fetch. Which means I am going to get screwed this turn since Glistener can attack. No. Looking at this hand, it's obvious what I go for. Mm. Where are you? Hunting for the white border. Sounds like a magic mini series mm. or something. We should make that, Hunting for the White Border. Oh, by the way, guys, if you live anywhere near Athens, there's a new gaming store, although right now hey. when we are, uh, Filming we'll do, it. We'll do videos from that location. I'm not sure about how advertising goes. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go for it. Give the show. Okay. Shout out. There was a new gaming store that just opened this past Saturday, which dates this video for some people if it stays on YouTube long enough, uh, called Dragon Star Hobbies. It's in Athens. So uh, if you are into any type of magic other than standard, this is the place to go. Yes. Because we already have enough of that around Athens. We could use yeah. some older formats. Weekly Commander, Weekly Legacy, Weekly... Uh, when it comes around, Weekly Modern F&M. And they're having a weekly... I think it is right now with Theros... Draft? 
draft. Not Sarah, it's one of the gods. Yep. Sorry, got him wrong. Hurry up! You cultist! <laughs> you give that over here. <laughs> Rakdos cult, they're so insane. Um, yes, yes we are. Main phase of my little Krosa. Okay. Swing. That's five. Groundswell. Yep, that's game. That's nope, that's nine. Pass turn. That's, Close enough. That's, it. That, that's game next turn. Unless something happens. Like you getting a blocker or another kill spell? Uh, We're just waiting. So, not the best hand again. Um, okay, first off, I'm going to swing with both Blood Gas, just in case he has something to kill my cards. Sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't. Depends on why he... Puts me to 15, one fetch and two hits. Okay. I should have counted that earlier. Drop a land. Yep. The reason I do that is just in case he does have kill spells. If one of them goes to the grave and then I drop a land, I get right back. If I have Slaughter Pact in here... <laughs> I see that. Yeah. Silly pants. Yes, that's what you do. You side and slaughter pact against the deck that keeps reanimating its crap. Yeah. Where is Goblin Bombardment? Somewhere in here. I actually didn't substitute it out, unfortunately. You didn't side it out, yeah. Yeah, so it, I have all four copies in here. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Yep. Blockers seem good here. Pass. At least he does not have an Ink Moth Nexus right now. <laughs> I was actually about to show you an Ink Moth Nexus. <laughs> I would have, except I actually got something better this turn. I'm gonna abrupt decay Bob. Okay, yeah, that's game. Yeah. Good game. Because unfortunately, with abrupt decay, there's nothing I can do about it. I got s*** for a hand. <laughs> Like, literally, I got sh** right Like, the, the one thing this, uh, the old were. program. Yeah, Young Pyro, Undiscovered down. Paradise, Swamp. Swamp. Oh, uh, da 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 GG. Okay, dude, so I'm gonna set well, these Well, since down. we already have cursing in, GG, motherfucker. I'm going to actually set these cards out, that way you guys can see what my deck is right now and yeah, what sure. I set it in. We'll do a quick um, little deck deck, yeah. Yeah. Would you like to just sit up here for it? Yes, please. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, and I'm gonna take out the cards I sided in and put the sideboard over on the side, that way you can see the cards that Speaking are in the Speaking of which, too. I haven't done a deck tech for my deck. Good grief. And I've had it for ages, ages and ages. Yes, I know. Which is quite surprising you haven't done a deck deck. Soon. Used to, oh, back in the Simic. Blood, blood Moon. Moon. That's, a, blood that's Moon. slow, but if you can get that out, that'll that'll do the job. Yep. Because I had one basic land in the deck, and that's it. Yep. It's effectively a kill spell for my Ink Moth Nexi. I assume it's Nexi, not Nexuses. Hm. Watch that not be right. I enjoyed this. Did you? Mm-hmm. Yay. Don't get to do it enough. Ha! Not what I meant. Ha! I'm 12. Yes, yes, you are, but I love you anyway. <gasps> Gasp. Pedophile! Pedophile! <laughs> I am not really a pedophile, guys. I'm Chris Hansen from Daylight NBC. Things you cannot take back. What has been said on the internet cannot be unsaid. You know, that could have very tragic consequences on my, uh, teacher's resume. Yes, I am training to be a teacher. magic, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, you know how some people are. 
A teacher playing magic is very bad. Hey class, we're gonna watch a video today. No. <laughs> While I watch the uh, SCG stream or something. No, I guess that's weekends. While I'm, I go watch old SCG episodes. I'm really not bad, okay? Pindelhaven. 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 I'm gonna get you a band. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get more sleeves. I don't like that I have to get more sleeves because. Why are they breaking? Yeah, the sides they're coming. Some of the sides are coming off. Like how? Those. You haven't even had them for that long. I don't know. Triple sleeve, triple sleeve. Well, it's that. The Hello Kitty is starting to... Hello Kitty? Hello Kitty. My... Hello Kitty? My brain is gone. I told you this. Okay, no, seriously, who? Who grumpy is it? Cat. Okay, thank you. Whew. My grumpy kitty is starting to come apart on the back side, which there is actually a tournament this Sunday, and if I get to go to it, I have to have new sleeves because I will probably be called... There will probably be a judge called over if I try to play in these the way they are right now. I mean, it's not like I know my which ones are done like that. But they don't know that you don't know. Yeah. So. Better to be safe than to be sorry. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I am finally done setting up my deck and my side deck. Good, good, good. At long last. Okay, good. So, let me explain what this is. This is my side deck down here. Um, I've broken it up into land, I'm creature, and non-creature creature and non-land. Non-creature yeah. spells. Um, I've got one Orborg. Um, awesome for turning any land into a swamp, just in case you need a swamp. Um, I unfortunately only have one basic mountain in the deck, but with the Badlands and the fact that the red that I run isn't as significant as the black. She's actually also playing around her own Blood Moon. Um, yeah. Because it's going to be a mountain anyway with Blood Moon, all of these will be mountains. Uh, she needs to have an excessive, no or seemingly excessive, number of swamps to give her enough to actually do things like cast Blood Ghast uh, with Black Black. You know. Any of my black Through creatures. a blood moon. Um, I do have a waste, four wastelands. Great for land destruction there. Um, one, two, three, four, five swamps. Again, because I do red blood moon. Um, Actually, you have DCI promo. Yes, wasteland. I have DCI promo wastelands. They're pretty and foil and gorgeous. Oh, look at that. We get a little rainbow going on over there. <laughs> rainbow over the wasteland. Green. All I see is green and blue and red and yellow. <laughs> rainbow. Um, I do have Badlands. Those were some of my Christmas presents. They were absolutely gorgeous. Um, I have Blood Sandmire to search out for a Swamp Mountain or Blood. Bleh. Swamp Mountain or Badland. Um, I've got four of those. It pains me for one, but if I only have that in my hand, then I'll definitely go search if I don't want to mulligan. And then the Undiscovered Paradise, which you guys got to see in game number two, which allows me to tap for any mana, and it's great with Blood Guest, Undiscovered Paradise, tap, bring back, Undiscovered Paradise, get She gets a machine gun guest. with Blood Guest, Goblin Bombardment, and Undiscovered Paradise. Just, I'm going to hit you for yeah. however many yeah, and there are times that I will tap it just to tap it so I can get blood gas back. Mm -hmm. Um, and generally I have floating mana. Mm -hmm. Tap um, it for pink mana from unglued. <laughs> yep, starting at the right hand, my right hand side, I guess it's your left hand, um, this young pyromancer. Um, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you get to put a 1-1 one, one red elemental token. Um, so, whenever I cast one of these, I get to put a token out. And generally, I get that out before I cast one of those, mm -hmm. if I can. I think that's um, one of the 
innovations of this deck. It looks a good bit like uh, a Sam Black re a Zombardment deck, the mm -hmm. zombies that he came up with, it's the similar. three colors, with Young Tokens. It's a little bit yeah. of a Young Token strategy. But we're not splashing white for Lingering Souls. Uh, this is actually part of the reason. Mountain, Swamp, Blood Moon. Uh, it's also for lack of scrublands and plateaus. Yeah, those are kind of expensive. Yeah. Um, my next creature on the list is Blood Gas, which you guys got to see. It's a 1-1. One, one. It can't block, which really sucks against some decks if you don't have many blockers like I do. Um, but if my opponent has 10 or less life points... Fewer. Fewer. 10 or fewer <laughs> life points. <laughs> it has haste when it comes in, yeah. and whenever landfall occurs... Undiscovered Paradise over here. Yep. Hint, hint, wink, wink. It comes back from my graveyard, so it's a swinging chump, pretty much. It's a 2-1, so it's not very powerful, but it's good. Um, this one is Carrion Feeder. It also can't block, um, but I can sacrifice a creature to put a plus one. Yes. Yeah, these two on, are buddies. Uh, <laughs> on Carrion Feeder. Um, Bloodcast. And the next card I'm about to show you both stack really well to these because they both come back really well. Uh, Gravecrawler, one of my favorite cards from this deck. Gravecrawler also can't block. Oh, they can, you know, they can just read the text on, on Gather. Oh, if they're on well, here, they probably know. Grr. You're taking all the fun out well, of just it. Just tell them, like, the strategy instead of reading the cards. Gravecrawler can't block, but I can sock it to Carrion Feeder, pump Carrion Feeder up, even if I can't swing. Um, pump carrying feeder up. It goes to my graveyard with the massive amount of black mana that I have. Mm -hmm. I pay one, get my grave crawler back, sack it again, pay one, yep. carry and feeder. It, it's a continuous loop there, and I love doing it. Um, this one is Dark Confidant, also known as Bob. Hi, Bob. Um, I got him out. I never actually got to perform a Bob trigger. Um, I get to reveal the top card, pay that many converted mana, which if you look at my deck, who is the biggest one I have? Blood Moon in the sideboard, but yeah, just, that's it. And yep. especially in that matchup, when Infect is, I mean, you're never going to care about your life yep. against Infect anyway. Never. Okay, and I, going on to spells that aren't land. Uh, aren't tragic, creatures. Thank you. Mm. My, I told you, my, my brain is gone. Tragic slip, negative one, negative one on target creature, unless a creature has already died. Um, which happens this a lot in turn, this deck. Yes. Um, in which case it's a negative 13, negative 13. Which really comes in handy if you're playing against infect and can pull it off. Uh, Goblin Bombardment. I also love <laughs> doing this with my uh, Grave Crawler and Blood gas. If you sack the Goblin Bombardment, then it gets a negative one, negative one on target creature or player, which is really good if you're playing against, like, White Weenie or something like that. Mm -hmm. Or Infect, if you can get it out. Um, Faithless Sleuthing, you guys got to saw that. Draw two cards, this card too. Um, oh, and that also has a flashback cost, so it's really nice to have in my graveyard as well. Uh, Cabal Therapy, not so nice to have in my graveyard, and I really need to know the meta of the game. Need to know the other player's deck really well. Yeah, it's a lot better for game two mm. when you know what you're going to hit. Often, though, if you don't, it's... Days. Days, Force of Will. <laughs> um, I think Force of Will may be, may be the better one. Yeah. In this format, yeah, most definitely. Um, Thought Seeds, as you got to see... Uh, both Thoughtseize and Cabal Therapy, you get to look at your opponent's hand, but Thoughtseize, you don't have to name the card. Um, with neither, neither of them allow you to target lands, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, Innocent Blood, I love playing Innocent Blood because I really don't care about sacking one of my creatures. I don't have a problem with it because... Uh, Symmetrical <laughs> effects. Yeah. <laughs> um, if he has a creature and I don't, that's even better. Um... Now, this is my side deck over here. As we, you've heard us talk about with the lands, Blood Moon, I've got three of those in the side deck. I run one Tragic Slip in main, main deck and one in the side deck. Okay. Like, every time you say that, I'm hearing Psyduck. 
Too much Twitch plays Pokemon. Yeah. Anyway, go on. Sorry. Um, the next one I have is Raven's Crime, and it's a newer one that's on my side deck, so unfortunately I didn't get to play with it. It's a target player discards a card, um, and then I get to re retrace it. Retrace it. Um, if you pay its that? cost in addition to discarding a land, you get to play it again from your grave. Not like Flashback where it's exile. Yeah. Uh, this goes well because, I mean, so multiple pyro triggers. <laughs> that's good, obviously. But any combo deck that needs a lot of stuff to stay in its hand in order for it to actually go off as a combo, Raven's Crime is going to be good. And Disruption. Yes. Like him, unfortunately, didn't get out. And they get absolutely no card advantage from making from countering it. They're going to lose a card anyway. Might as well just get the thing that's going to be discarded. Yep. Downside, uh, it does not, it's not random and you don't get to choose, so they may discard something you they want to discard. Be careful with Reanimator, but for yep. the most part, no, no that's the, just say. Speaking saying. of Reanimators down here, we'll get to that. Engineered Plague, I only have two of those. I, I kind of go back and forth about having more, re, more uh, Engineered Plague in there sometimes. Yeah, it's her um, response, you, you go for it. You can go. Oh, it's, it's her response, yes, to Tribals. True Name Nemesis specifically is mm -hmm. uh, one of the newer things that makes that a problem. But uh, even though this deck can generally do well against something like Elves, Innocent Blight, Goblin Bombardment, lobbing, target, lobbing zombies at them, Tragic Slip, sometimes Elves is just too fast, especially if she doesn't have her machine gun out. So sometimes you, you want an inch uh, Engineer Plague. The only problem with that is that Engineer Plague is a three drop. Um, oh, it's actually, a, yeah, it's a three drop. It's a three but. drop. So I would have to wait till turn three to even get it yeah. out to start having an effect, and Elves is known to kill you on two, two or three. It depends on how well, fast they can go. Well, not, not two. I have I actually don't think I've ever seen Elves combos kill you on two. I have plenty of other fiends that that can use. Yeah. Goblins! Goblins! That's Goblin a, Char tribal, Belcher. Tribal. No, no, yeah. it won't help on Char Belcher. Well, Goblin Tribal, a lot of one toughness creatures. Goblin Lackey. Of course, Goblin Lackey's gonna come down before this anyway. I had my last uh, my last tournament, I actually ended up going against Char two oh, Char Belcher decks. Oh, empty the Warrens! Yeah, and they didn't use the Char Belcher at all. They beat me without using Char Belcher. Mm. And it wasn't with this deck. Yeah. Like, that's, so. That seems good. If they don't know that you're not just, playing blue, and you were playing Infect, you, we switched decks for that. I was Elementals, so not this one, hers before this. I was Elementals, and you were my Infect, and mm -hmm. that, looking back at it was a mistake. Yeah, he had several Delver, and I had several Goblins, so we several, shouldn't have... Several? I had five Delver matchups in a row, and six for the day. I was so sick and tired of Delver. I had four goblin matchups, four, and I ended up getting a bye and only winning one match besides the bye, and it was the last match of the day. So that was Wait, really sad. I thought you had won more than that. Nope, I only won one match. I had four goblin decks in a row. Uh, get, with elementals, that's what she, or with infect, you lost to goblins that many times with infect. Yes. Oh. Let's get 20 goblin tokens out on the field okay, per Okay, Charbelcher is not goblins. Charbelcher <laughs> is Charbelcher. Goblins is a whole different ball game. Like, like well, nothing in common except the word goblin in the Charbelcher. Two of them were Charbelcher, but they didn't win off Charbelcher. They yeah, but that's, that's not a goblin deck. Goblins yeah. are like Ether Vile, Goblin Lackey, Goblin Matron, Goblin War Chief, da 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 Goblin Ringleader, Goblin Ringleader, <laughs> Goblin Ringleader, and Goblin Oh. Yeah, that's... The okay. worst one I had was 21 Story Storm Goblin Tokens yep. on turn one. Just in case you counter the uh, Empty the War Ends, the Storm Trigger will still give them the 20. I hated it. Okay, anyway, back to... Oh, wait, um, you mean Storm was 21? Okay, so Storm, Storm was 21. Goblins. 42 goblins. That's a little excessive. It's a little excessive, but it worked. Wow, okay. And they got to go first, first round. I won one game 
they won the overall match because they went first. It's like, well, fine, yes. I didn't want to take a turn. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Um, thank goodness they didn't have haste. Shattering spree. Um, <laughs> uh, shattering note. spree. Um, and I can replicate this, which is really nice. Um, <laughs> shattering spree. I think is the best, it's one of the best artifact destruction spells in the format right now. If you're running red, the only thing, and this is why I'm not sure if four is a good number, Chalice of the Void already does so much to just wreck this deck. There's so much on one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's some side stuff. Yeah, there's a lot in this deck that that will just eat up. Shattering Spree included, so if you're under a Chalice Lock, Shattering Spree won't get you out. And so as a result, maybe Rakdos Charm uh, should be considered. She's not running white, so Wear and Tear doesn't actually do you that much good. But since it's red and colorless instead of red and black, maybe that's something to consider anyway. Yeah. Um, and the last card in my side deck... Another reason to do uh, Rakdos Charm, it's kind of redundant with that one. Yeah. Um... We were talking about Delver earlier. Good old Delver of Secrets. Um, kill that graveyard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kill that graveyard is pretty much what that is. Shrink that Tarmogoyf, kill the reanimator targets. Nile Spellbomb, found it for 10 cents. It's still very cheap because junk common, right? But when you're running black and when you're a graveyard deck yourself, it's pretty much strictly better than Relic of Progenitus. Uh, we tried Tormon's Crypt for a bit, but it didn't work too oftentimes well. that's just a dead draw. It's not something you want to draw into a lot, but in a, if you run into Nile Spellbomb, it's at least cycling for two. For one black. One in black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the Tormon's Crypt, it just kind of yeah. sat there. She's been doing surprisingly well against combo. Uh, Cabal Therapy and Thoughtseize have a lot to do with that. Mm -hmm. Raven's Crime coming in, that helps as well. I actually haven't been able to play with Raven's Crime except for this match. This is the first match I've been able to try with that. But, uh, yeah, it, it should help yeah. quite a lot. And this is one of the first matches I've actually done with Tragic Slip in here, in the main deck. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, we're still trying to figure out the right number of those, and whether Lightning Bolt should go in. That's something I've been I've been debating with myself a good bit. Uh, it would be great, but at the same time you'd have to take out something. Mm -hmm. And we would not be sure exactly what to take out and how many. Oh, I mean, for example, the Tragic Slip slot, whether that goes to Slip or Bolt. I mean, it is entirely possible, especially in a deck like this. Yeah, I'm going to Tragic Slip one. or Gristlebrand, stuff, something like that. Yeah. Alright, that's that's a thing. Yeah. Well, now it's my turn. So that is my lovely deck tech. Rectus Sombardment. Conclave. <laughs> I need some vampires in here. Because when you think Conclave, you think the hood. Oh, you have Bloodgast. Yeah. Alright, Scoochy Scoochy. Let me in there. That's what he said. Get out of the way! Move! Get out of the way! Wait. Waiting. Get out of the way! Get We're loading way. between players Ooh. here. Sorry. Just for fun. Set <laughs> nine. Go for it. Beat a nine. Curses! Nine eleven. <laughs> that was a really bad combo. Please tell me you're taking that off. Never forget. Never forget. Oh, seriously, get out of the way, please. I'm gonna be OCD about that pillow being right. Yeah, you would too, wouldn't you? <laughs> Alright, like me, be like on the side or something, like I was earlier. We can see your foot or your leg or something like that. Alright. I'm on the side. Girl! <laughs> Girl! That's not what I meant. <laughs> you stop, you stop now. <laughs> see, Rakdos Cultist, that's, that's the bad influence you're having on me. <laughs> you want to be in the picture? No. Okay. I made sure just to put enough of myself in that it didn't seem right. Now it's all dirty again. I'm going to be OCD about this. Yeah, you, you stop. <laughs> I have mind reading. Is how this works. So... How about them 
Packers. You're a Packers fan? No. We really can't be friends then. I'm not a fan of NFL football. Okay. Okay. Fair. College football, yes. Go dogs. But only dogs. Um. Sorry, anyone that is not a Georgia Bulldog fan. I was born and raised and live in Athens. And as I say to everyone that comes into the restaurant where I work, if you were born and raised somewhere, then I can't really fault you if you're the, a fan of theirs. Wait, and you not just go dogs. up and tell people this, like, at work? They wear, like, their Auburn shirts in and their Tennessee shirts in and... I, I tell them they're in the wrong part of and town. your Rakdos shirts in, but your Selesnia's best. Well, Selesnia's best guild. They come in with their sports shirts on, and Tristan I'm like, you, you... died for our sins. Okay, sorry, go on. I'm like, you realize you're in the wrong part of town, right? You realize you're in Athens, Georgia, home of the Georgia Bulldogs. Like, yeah, but I, I grew up here, or I'm an alum here, or, you know... And I'm like, okay, well, I guess I can't hold it against you. I really want to, but I guess I shouldn't, because you grew up there, or you went there, so I know how that goes. Yep. Okay, I can't think of another topic to talk about while you are setting out everything. We can show them those creepy scarecrow dolls that your parents sent us. I don't think they're creepy. Do you think they're creepy? Do you think they're creepy? Okay, the voice just makes it. Yeah, pretty much. Still working on it. Minor, minor, minor. Hey, you interrupted me plenty of times during that. Fair enough. Minor, minor OCD. The music major in me was like screaming. See, he was an English major, so he gets to get on to me for my badly enough grammar. Grr. <laughs> and he does. I was a music major for my first major. Okay, I'm ready. Can we? Sure. Go. All right. Finally, after all this time, having all these games, I get to do an actual deck tech for you. I must note, one thing is missing from here. I'll, t I'll show you what it is in just a moment. Yes. My soul is not a card that can be played in this deck. We, you should really it's invent that. Whoever wins the next diagram break. My soul. Uh, next invitational? I don't yes. think they do those anymore. I think Tiago uh, Chan was the last one. Uh, Makes me sad. But So, this deck essentially is... Stop. Let me focus. This deck is essentially... Focus. Uh, three elements I have to have a good mix of every time I start, every opening hand. Um, I have creatures, Glistener Elf, uh, all these are four of Glistener Elf, Bloody Agent, Plague Stinger, Ink Moth Nexus, more creature than a land in my estimation. Um, these, I need to have at least one or I can't keep the hand. Preferably more than one to play around removal. Uh, yeah, I also have Noble Hierarch, no in fact, but it, it's a pump spell essentially, Noble Hierarch. Here we go. This is the bread and butter. This is the bread and butter of the deck. So between Invigorate's obviously the best, all my lands are forest except, well, f are fetching into a forest, except Pendlehaven. 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 And of course Ink Moth Nexus. Um, so essentially what you're trying to do is count to ten by turn two or three. Depends on what creature you get. Glistener Elf? You're trying to count by turn two. It is possible to do a turn two with Ink Moth, but that's triple Invigorate. Uh, so, you're starting with one automatically. Noble Hierarch makes it two. And all of your pump spells are four except Berserk doubles. Usually the math is one plus Invigor, or plus one of your uh, two pumps. 
I mean, sorry, one of your two pumps. That's a two pump. One of your four pumps plus Berserk, you're there. Yeah, and within Invigorate, you'd really... Or you really... could do Noble Hierarch into a four pump and Invigorate, and that's ten as well. You, It's fairly common. I get, I guess, about a quarter of my games, if my opponent doesn't put a creature out, I'll get the turn two kill. It's, it's actually not that hard. Turn three especially... Evasion is hugely important in this matchup. You don't want to ever have a creature run into something. If you can help, that's why Delver is one of my harder matchups. It's a very simple flyer they're going to have basically all the time, basically every game. Blighted Agent Unblockable, Plague Stinger, and Ink Moth Nexus flying just to get over their stuff. If I can do that, I can usually just lay the beats down, go off, and that's all she wrote. Um, now, Vines of Vastwood serves the serves as okay. Okay, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Let's just for right now. Let's just say that this is my utility pump, the only utility pump really that I have. Uh, it does slow me down a fair bit, I'll admit, um, but it's better than something like Giant Growth because Swords to Plowshares, Lightning Bolt, the occasional Tragic Slip, <laughs> as we've seen, those are things that I need to play around Dismember or I will just lose. Vapor Snag, uh, Umazawa's Jitai, it actually doesn't help too much because that's two counters, so counter, hexproof counter. And they're dead. By the way, Umazawa's Jitai screws this deck, wrecks it entirely as you've seen in a previous video. Hint, hint. Gitexian Probe, I want to see what their hand looks like so I know if I can go off or not, and it helps me reach in for, uh, my, for my combo pieces. It's like I'm actually playing a 56 card deck instead of a 60 card deck. Uh, this is easy enough. I am missing one land. I usually, I want to play two Pendlehavens. I have to borrow one when I go to tournaments. Otherwise, you're looking at the whole thing. It, it would be taking out a Misty or a Verdant. Probably a Misty, actually. Uh, so, 10 fetch lands, five lands, two tropical, two bayou, one, one basic forest, yes, and Pendlehaven. Uh, I don't need a lot of land. Really, if I'm if I'm still drawing into lands, unless that land's name is Ink Moth Nexus or Pendlehaven, I generally have a problem. Uh, I do you know that really slows you down. You don't get anything extra out of having that except deck thinning off your fetch lands, and that's it. It may be a, a little bit. I may have too many fetches. I'm not sure about that for only five. Bases. Four of which get shut down with Blood Moon or Wasteland. So if I Tropical Island, Wasteland, Tropical Island, Wasteland, well, I'm out of blue mana. Well, other than Noble Hierarch, hoping to get in, draw into one. Uh, getting this combination is what makes the deck. Uh, it's a, it's less counter, or it's not a tempo deck per se. It wants to go crazy on you. And unlike something like Delver, which can afford to have 12 creatures because it's protecting them with Days, Force of Will, uh, Lightning Bolt in case of rugs, Source of Plowshares, is protecting them. I'm actually not doing very much of that, especially not mainboard. It's just Vines of Vastwood mainboard. Now for the side deck, uh, let's actually start. Nature's Claim is the easiest one. It is naturalize, but it is cheaper, and I don't care about giving them life. Easy enough. If you see this in back when Extended was a thing, if you see this in Modern, if you see this in Legacy, you better have Nature's Claim in there. That's uh, another reason why Invigorate is so good. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, that's right, because I don't care about giving them three life. It's I'm about three. to infect them for ten counters. Days, I don't put in main board, and the reason is, I well, I in my opinion, in a deck like this, it is only good when you are on the play. I am not running the Simic version, which is going to replace... Uh, Plague Stinger with Icar Claw Mirror, replace some of these with uh, Brainstorm, uh, probably keeping Etaxian Probe, uh, and Days. It's a, that's a more consistent deck, but I'd rather have the Evasion. This one is just more explosive. This is not something a lot of people see coming. Uh, days I'll put in if I'm on the play, and especially if they just, just see me as a combo deck, they won't be expecting that. Sansa, Gitaxian Probe. If I see a lot of removal, 
I'm going to put in Apostle's Blessing. This is going in in most of my Delver match. No, basically all of my Delver matchups. What won't it come in for? This will come in for Swords to Plowshares because... Uh, for Death and Taxes for Swords to Plowshares. Uh, because I am just that worried about what is one of the few cards they're going to have in there. Mangara, sometimes... Uh, I have seen that happen before. Tap Mangara. Um, and in this in this opponent's case, the one I'm thinking of, he did not have a Caracas. He was just doing it in response to my attacking. And Apostle's Blessing. I'm okay with that. Uh, Surgical Extraction is, of course, Graveyard Hate. Uh, I actually, when I went to GPDC, one of these cards was replaced with Caracas. Does nothing for me in the deck. I was so scared of Sneak and Show, expecting that to be such a huge thing going into that weekend. Caracas. Surgical Extraction does the same. It's more for the Sneak Attack side than the Show and Tell side. Uh, you, in Rockle Swings, you just lost your field, and then you pay two life afterwards and get rid of him Rockle when he's on the, his trigger is on the stack. His uh, Bounce Your Library Back In trigger. Uh, that's actually... I, that hasn't come up yet. I haven't gotten the chance to uh, to do that to a sneak and show deck. He really wants to. Very much so. Now that means that I also in those matchups I have to be very careful with my fetches and Gitaxian Pro because that leaves me three life to work with. Uh, um, you hear my voice going out. Let's let's skip you for just one second. You're easy. Counterbalance. That's what this thing was made for. Uh, playing around counterbalance. Uh, one of my first loss on day two was a blue white red miracles deck. Game one they had me locked on Blood Moon. Game two they had me locked on Counterbalance. It was just it was not fun. So that uh, it's good on a lot of things. If I just need something if I need to get rid of something, there I go. If their match depends on sticking something solid like that, there you go. Uh Viridian Corruptor. Twice when I went there. Once was on a lands deck, and I think the other one must have been uh, Affinity, must have been Robots. Um, Chalice of the Void came down. Chalice shut down my Nature's Claim, and I was stuck. I actually drew into Nature's Claim in the lands match, could not use it. I, I still won that because it didn't stop Invigorate, and I just kept poking him until that was game, but I realized I needed a Viridian Corruptor to get around one hate card that just ruins this deck. It's also, if you'll notice, it has two toughness. This deck also gets eaten by basically anything that's going to be good against true name Nemesis. Now that Nemesis has hit the format, a lot of players are realizing, hey look, let's hit them with Golgari Charm, Zealous Persecution, those are things that just are going to eat every creature in here, except Inkmoth Nexus if it's not animated, and Viridian Corruptor now. Uh, that two toughness does it. It has saved me before, um, and so that's that's why it's in there. Let me make sure that's everything. Mm -hmm. Looks like it. Sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. I hope to see another game with you. Twelve post my first deck is being rebuilt, so expect that next video to be 12 posts for you. Uh, unless something happens at Dragonstar and I record there with some deck that I find. I've heard that we have an Imperial Painter. That may be interesting. That'll be an interesting matchup. And of course we'll try to get you more outside of Infect. Uh, more just Rectos Sombardments, 12 posts, Elementals. I do have an Elementals deck for Legacy that True Name kind of screwed. Um, but, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you later. Oh. Conclave! Conclave!